Now these one-step linear equations look a little bit different than the previous examples because the variable is on the right side now instead of the left. But the main thing to remember here is the goal is the same. If we can isolate the variable, we can solve the equation. So looking at this first equation, 17 equals x plus 14, since the variable is on the right side, we want to isolate the variable on the right side. So to solve this equation, we want to rewrite the equation in the form of some number equals x. So now looking at the right side of the equation, to isolate the x, we want to undo the plus 14 on the same side of the equation as the x. And we can do this by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. Well, the opposite of plus 14 would be minus 14. So we can subtract 14 on the right side as long as we also subtract 14 on the left side. So now on the left side we have 17 minus 14, that would be 3. We bring down the equal sign. And notice on the right side, plus 14 minus 14, that would be 0. So we're left with just x on the right side of the equation. And now we do have the solution to the equation, but instead of leaving it as 3 equals x, we may want to switch this around and write it as x equals 3. These two mean exactly the same thing, but we're more used to expressing our solutions in this form, which means if we substitute 3 for x, it should satisfy the original equation. So let's go ahead and check this. Looking at the original equation, we want to make sure that 17 is equal to 3 plus 14. Well, 3 plus 14 is equal to 17. Therefore, our solution is correct. And the same thing for our second example. Notice the variable is on the right side. So to solve this equation, we want to manipulate the equation so it's in the form of some number equals x. And notice that on the right side we have x minus 5 instead of just x. So to undo minus 5, we would have to add 5, and we can do this as long as we do the same to the left side of the equation. So now on the left side we have 23 plus 5, that would be 28. We bring down the equal sign, and notice on the right side we have minus 5 plus 5, that would be 0. So we're left with x, so now x is isolated. So our solution is 28 equals x, or if we want, we can write this as x equals 28. Which means if we substitute 28 for x, it must satisfy the original equation. So let's go ahead and check it. We'll have 23 equals 28 minus 5. Well, 28 minus 5 is 23, so our solution is correct.